Hello, it's Sarah, and this video is to do our arms and legs for our art doll. Here's one that I did for Christmas, and you're going to need at least five or six and a couple spacer beads for each arm, and maybe three to four for the legs. Um, about an inch and a quarter for the legs, and about two inches maybe. <clears throat> I wrote it down. Yeah, <clears throat> let me see. Do I have my ruler? So approximately two inches worth of wire. And then once you add your jump ring and your little dangle, it, it'll be, I think, the appropriate size. So you're going to need some beads. You're going to need wire. And I believe this is 20 gauge. Let's see. 20 gauge, 9.1 millimeter. I don't know what that means. But 20 gauge, I think, is the like kind of girth. Anywho, so I'm going to cut myself a piece that's about four inches maybe. Um, and I'm going to start by using a tool that I don't remember the name of. Well, I have to find it. It's like a... Um, Oh, I should have had it out before I... Okay, this thing, it has like, it's a plier, but it has rounded prongs on it. So you're going to take the end of the wire and just start twisting on, like, let me come down a little. Let me move this because it might try to... And just keep twisting it on itself. Maybe like three or four times because you're still going to need <clears throat> like at least two inches worth of beads. So that's about like, so that's, and that's the end of it. And then we're going to use a jump ring to connect this to the body. And then use a jump ring to connect a little charm at the end, I think. So these are some beads that I pulled from my stash to create arms and legs that I think will kind of match. Maybe make sure I'm in the shot. I'm just going to pour them out. So a lot of pink and green and some clear and there's really no red which just this. So I think this will go in the in each arm. Um, and I tried to put at least two. I know I had two of those. Here, oh, no. I did find some that have flowers already in them, which are very cool. And for the shoulder, you kind of want one that, I want to say it's like a 10 millimeter, but that could be, I'm not perfect at it, but it's definitely, you know, you want something that couldn't be conceivably shaped like a shoulder. So I have two of those. That's what I was thinking. Then I have, I have a lot of green. And then, so that would be, and then I'll fill it with maybe, uh, and this is, again, I'm just auditioning. These are super cute, too. Um, I don't know if I want to do that much green or if I want to go pink. That's a cat's eye. Um, so this is what you're going to do. These are just cat's eyes that are, so maybe instead of the florally one, I could just put a plain cat's eye or instead of the florally shoulder I could use a plain shoulder you know so start to kinda move it around in, in a way that you think looks the best I did put little butterflies in here because I thought that would look like a cuff kinda the cuff of her shirt and then there's also things called bead caps um, they're, I'll show you, um, <clears throat> bead caps, and what was the other, oh, spacer beads, so I'm trying to think of all the little other findings that you could put, you could just put silver beads, it could just be all one thing, letter beads if you wanted to, so anything goes, so I just pulled different shapes um, from my stash, that I thought matched this because see the brightness of this of this bling says silver to me so I think I want to throw in like a silver bead right there you know 
Um, and then I have these little flowers that I was thinking maybe I could put at the feet, at the bottom of the feet. Um, because I think this shape really is, maybe this would be good for the legs. So I could put these flowery ones instead of that for the legs. So for the legs I have three beads. These are kind of big. Um, I'm going to come up a little because I know I'm not in the shot. Um, I can make more room. So that's what you're going to play around with uh, for just to get yourself... Now, I'm going to show you what, so these are considered bead caps or spacers, and again, I've had them in my stash forever, I don't know where I got them. This one has like a rainbow color, which I don't think I'm going to use, um, but they're the biggest ones, and then the medium ones, I do just have like Aurora Borealis clear, so let's try and see if that would look nice on top of here. I don't love it, but I could definitely use it under here and then move that down. I don't know, it's still a little big. So that's that's what you got to do. You just got to keep, um, if I didn't use that, then that might be a better fit. So I'm going to go off camera and come up with a couple of ideas to, so I'll just put them in a row until they equal about two inches. Oh, I'm, I wanted to show you what bead caps were. These are all different types of bead caps. It literally looks like a little cap, like a hat that you would put on the bead. So that's considered a bead cap, and then they go up in size. So I have these, which I thought would look cool on the other one because they have a little bit more oxidation to them. So I thought that would look nice as a kind of looks like a, I don't know, part of the outfit. So I think I put, let me see. No, I, I'm going to put two of them in there just to play around with. I have all different sizes. Like this one is kind of calmer and it would fit just to cover the hole and give it like a finished look at the top. So, <clears throat> in other words, when I string it on the wire, it kind of gives it a little bit of a finish at the top. So, like I'll just start stringing and, and show you. So then I would put that there. I think I want to do pink though. I think I'd like a pinker. See, these are a little bit flat, so I'm not sure that I love it, but I mean, I like the, I like it. Um, then I have other spacers that are like, just, see, I forget the names for all this stuff because I haven't been working with it that much, um, but they're not in here. This is all the bead caps. I have so many different kinds. That's pretty cool looking. This one's like really tall. Like a hat part. Um, so anyway, you could just put... I don't have any spacer, so I'll put this silver bead. I don't like, I don't like the way that fits with that. And then end it with... I'll put the little butterfly at the bottom. So see how that looks like an arm? It's not perfect yet, but I think I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to play around. And then you'll do the same thing. You're going to cut a piece of wire for the legs and just kind of make them so, you know, they're like an inch and a quarter-ish. In length and you can always add a little jump ring to the end and make a dangle off of it like I put little bells on this 
I put bells, but see how I put like a spacer and then another spacer and then, you know, a, just a little silver bead. Um, let me see what I put on this one. I definitely put a bead cap. I put a bead cap on both sides of the red, a little spacer and crystals. So I'm going to keep playing and I'll be back when I have it all figured out. Okay. So I made her arms. I used one, two, three, four, five beads and like two spacers and a bead cap. I'm going to show you how I'm, I'm going to make the other. I made them same, the same, same two things. I'm not going to put a dangle on this. I'm just think I just left the butterflies at the end. I mean, I might, but I don't need to. And then for the legs, I used three beads and like a little flower. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take your piece of 20 gauge wire and this is about for the for three beads this is it's long it's like three inches you don't need that much. Take your like like round nose pliers probably Ooh, that might be what they're called and just twist it onto itself like this like maybe two times. So I'm going to try and come in and show you what that looks like. That's it. It just creates a stopper and you could hang a dangle off of it. It's simple. Plus I'm going to use it as a connection for with a jump ring to connect it to the art doll. So that's the bottom. I'm going to thread on the same beads I have here. So one of these. I didn't use any spacers or anything on the bottom. And then the flower. And then I'm going to cut it probably in half because I'm going to, I don't need that much wire. So again, you're going to take your round nose pliers and hold it and just wrap it on itself. And that's it. And you can kind of straighten it. I could have probably done that. You know, if you, uh, also let me unwrap it for a sec. Because if you use the, the smaller end of the plier, you'll get more um, wraps. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's better. And I can close it up. All right, good. So those are my legs. These are my arms. So I have five millimeter. No, I'm sorry. These are four. Where's my five? Here they are. <laughs> five millimeter. I have both. These are split rings or jump rings. So let me just open the package. Oh good, it has a little Ziploc bag. I'm going to need one, two, three, four. So let me just put these aside. We don't need those anymore. And you're going to need two sets of pliers. So let me put out a few of those. And I have this kind, like it's like a flat nose one. This thing is supposed to be up higher to keep it like, anyway. And then I have this one, which I think it's considered like a needle nose plier. And it has something on there. I don't know what. All right. So what you want to do is take one of your jump rings and open it. And to open it, you don't pull it apart. You twist it. And then you're going to twist it back when you connect it. We're going to do the legs first. So I'm going to flip her over. I've already put in two eye pins into the wood. That's where I'm going to connect the legs. So I'm just going to open the jump ring by twisting it. Just twist it away from each other. So now it's open. I'm going to grab the top of the leg and just loop this through one of those and then I'm going to come over and twist it back together. doing doing it on camera isn't the easiest and also my eyeballs I think I might need my uh, bifocal checked yeah because that's looking rough I'm gonna do it again because I totally annihilated the the jump ring all right I'm just gonna twist it gently I'm not gonna open it as big and just grab that 
put it through there and then gently pull it right back where it started there we go so let me see it's connected to the eye pin then there's a jump ring and then the leg dangles down okay I'm going to do the other one, same thing, just open the jump ring. This goes pretty fast once you get the hang of it, gently. And then do the same thing, just hook it on and close it. Twist it closed back where it started. And there we go. So she's got two legs. And the good thing is the wire is bendy, so it you can kind of bend it. I'll show you. Well, let me lay it down. It'll look in proportion, right? Go up a little. They look pretty good. I like the length. I'll show you the side by side with the ones I did before. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to open a jump ring. Twist it open. Put the little... Uh, loops from the top of the arm through the jump ring. I have like three loops so it's a little thicker. I just have to move my um, needle nose away from the hole so you can get it in there. And then you're just gonna do the same thing. Slip it through the eye pin and it's a little fudgy like just hold it and twist. So that's hooked on. And then, last one, we're going to end up doing this for the head as well, which can be really challenging, but doable. And uh, if I can do it, you can do it. I swear. It's not, it's not that hard. It takes patience. And gently twist back, and there you go. So she's got her arms. I think I am going to bend them a little, like give her a little elbow. Like that. And maybe I will end up putting a little dangle. I'm going to lay them side by side so you can see what, if they are in the same, um, the same length as the finished ones. Let's see. I'm, gonna, I'm looking up in the camera and see. Pretty much. I mean, I do think maybe I will add a little. I did buy charms if I only knew where they were. Here's her wings. I'm going to put them on last just so I don't get them like crunched up. But I bought little charms. I have words. I have all types of things. Um, I will find them. I'm going to go ahead and make my... I have the same thing here for um, the other one. I pulled a bunch of beads that I thought kind of played with the colors on here. I'm going to do the same thing. Five for the arms and three for the um, legs. But look, these are super cool. Look at this. It's, a, it's called, um, I think they're called art beads. But they're like blown glass. They have little bump of these on them. I just thought that was super cool. And it kind of reminded me of the the dots on this ribbon so I thought that would be cool for a shoulder but I also have these these are old too these are glass and they have that black and white theme but I like the bumpily one I think I like the bumpily one so and then um, I'll be back all right okay so I got I did the arms and legs for her and I've painted my faces, but I'm going to come back and show you that video too. And then the last video, we're going to be putting the halos and the hair on. So I hope you're enjoying this. They're looking so cute. Look how cute. All right. Can you see? I know they're not centered. All right. That's it, you guys. Thanks for watching.